I think like most trackers, they're not that good at talking themselves. They're much better at hooking up links so other people can talk to each other, so that's, that is good. And um, now we have a special message from Fred Hayes from Apollo 13. Hello everybody. I'm sorry I couldn't join you uh, for the, the big anniversary coming up, Apollo 11 and uh, July here. But maybe uh, the next best thing is I uh, tie in to you uh, with a little talk here uh, with uh, some media. Uh, I know I can hope all of you are doing well down there and uh, remembering those good old days uh, that were exciting days and uh, particularly uh, your coverage allowed the world to see Apollo 11 in July with their landing and walk on the moon. I, uh, I hope uh, also that uh, you remember uh, and I thank you very much for the super effort you did, extraordinary effort you did. I heard some people didn't get much sleep to support uh, the Apollo 13 mission I flew on where uh, we, needed, we needed your help uh, to get our power down uh, by use of the, your uh, stations, tracking stations in Australia, we were able to turn off our power amplifier and, you know, it saved two and a half amps. Now, two and a half amps on a 30 volt system doesn't sound like much, but it was tremendous because I, I had figured we'd go down to 18 amps to mission control eventually with your help and another trick or two got us down to 12 amps which allowed us to survive to get back to entry within our battery power available in the landing craft. But anyway, I hope all of you uh, feel, as I do, that we were fortunate, certainly I feel fortunate to have been around at the time, and take, take part in such an extraordinary and unusual, for the only one of its kind, the Apollo program. Anyway, I wish all well, and have a good time at the uh, celebration party. final message from today comes from the um, main flight coordinator for the, the landing of Apollo 11 from NASA, um, Gene Kranz. Good afternoon. This is Gene Kranz. I was flight director for Gemini and Apollo. And I wish to thank our Australian friends, but more so our teammates in Australia. I was a flight director for the landing. I thank you for your critical support. I thank you for every mission. The Australian sites were critical. During Project Mercury, the Mache and Woomera tracking stations, and the Indian Ocean ship filled the gap in network communications in the southern hemisphere. Your cities turned on the lights as the Mercury capsule flew overhead. It was a unique and a very welcome salute to our early astronauts. In Gemini, at Fendel, the Capcom at the Canarin tracking station gave Ed White the go to depress the cabin and begin the United States' first EVA. Now, 50 years later, we are jointly celebrating man's first landing on the moon. I don't know about you, but it didn't seem that long ago. During that mission, the Honeysuckle tracking station received, transmitted, the video of Armstrong's first step onto the moon. On the receiving end of Houston were mission controllers. And we would thank Mike Dinn and John Saxon. Today, my controllers in Houston join you in celebration of that event. I remember that day, it is clear, vivid. I can hear the astronauts' voices never to be forgotten. I don't know what you're drinking at your celebration, but on many of the Mercury missions, Jack Dowling, the Australian representative, would deliver us to us a keg of swan lager. <laughs> it was a fine beer to celebrate our achievements during the Mercury program. If I had a keg of swan here today, my controllers and I would join you in celebration of this great event of the Apollo 11 first lunar landing. This is Gene Kranz, signing off.
John Saxon, can I get a swan lager, please?